So at Cheltenham College we have a mixture of, of day and boarding pupils. About 80% of the pupils here at Cheltenham are boarders and about 20% a day. But they each have a house, they have a house master and a house mistress. Uh, it's really important to generate that family feel, whether they're staying in at night or going home at night. The, the day community and the boarding community just merges into one, you know, within the classroom, all the activities and sport. Whatever the house uh, you join in college, you're going to be lucky because they're all fantastic. I think when you're in the boarding house, you see the, the true person. You see the highs, you see the lows, you know who the snorers are, you know who the ones are that need a bit of a prompt tidying their room. You know that's meant to be their cocoon when they can just be opening up about things that they wouldn't necessarily say outside the house. Uh, and obviously you build a, a, a very strong relationship with them. You get to know the real person, essentially. And most houses at Cheltenham have clans or families which have pupils from the third form all the way up to the upper sixth. So they've always got an older pupil to look after them. When they first get here, we spend a huge amount of time preparing them on, on the runway to, to college life. So coming in to stay overnight in the boarding houses in year seven on 24 hours, coming in for the new entrance lunch is a big thing. So that they've answered some of the little questions and then arrive and in the first couple of weeks you see them walking around in small packs with a map out uh, and after a while you find them uh, moving independently around college, going to different activities. There are a range of events that take place uh, in the boarding house, then there are the big weekend events. There might be go-karting, it could be going to Gloucester to watch a rugby match and sometimes it's as simple as coming with me to take the dog for a walk. We had a house barbecue with Southwood actually, with inflatables, we get all of the parents and their families and children invited. The ones we take very seriously are annual house performance evening. Practically every girl ends up being on stage and it can go from beautiful violin, cello, concerto to some girls just being silly, having a sketch. The whole point of it is they all laugh so much, whatever the game, and that's all they remember, actually who comes first or last doesn't really matter.